guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be showing you some of my favourite makeup items so far this year. I've tried to pick one from every single category that I could think of and I thought I'd show you what they were, tell you a little bit about them and hopefully, fingers crossed, it might inspire you to go and pick one up. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is highlighter and I'm going to be really really brief with this because I've shown it so many times on my channel. This is the Topshop highlighter in Crescent Moon. This is the packaging, so it's white with just the little hand drawn stars on them. It opens up and it looks like this. The payoff is absolutely ridiculous. It's so, so shimmery and just absolutely beautiful. And every time I wear this, people comment on my highlight. I've worn this and had someone notice it from kind of the other side of the room and be like, wow, what is that highlight? But eight or nine pounds, it's really inexpensive for what it is. So this has been my go-to highlighter for nearly every day this year. Next, I'm gonna talk about eyeliner, and I mean like liquid eyeliner. So this is the Rimmel London Exaggerate Eyeliner, and it's the waterproof one in black. Looks like this, and it comes with kind of like a little thin nib. This has been my absolute favorite eyeliner. I have the um, original Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner and I just found kind of halfway throughout the day sort of the wings on the corner of my eyes were deteriorating and rubbing off. I picked up the waterproof one which is a lot longer lasting and I find that it's not too bad that you can get it off with like cleansing oil, micellar water, you know face wash, you can get it off but it doesn't come off with just general wear and tear, wiping your eyes, tears, things like that and it's really really inexpensive and this is the black one. Working with liner, my favourite coal liner this year has had to be the MAC uh, Pro Longwear Eyeliner in Black Ice. So it looks like this, it's just like their standard eyeliner and it's really really super dark. I've just been putting this in my waterline which I know is really harsh and a lot of people don't like but I have absolutely loved how it looked and also run it over the top of your lid to smoke it out for kind of a black smoky eye with less effort. Um, and although it's a little bit more expensive, I can't remember exactly how much I'll link down below. This is my new one because my old one is about an inch long, but it lasts you for absolutely forever and it sharpens really, really well as well. When I went to London, which was a few weekends ago, I met a friend from my boyfriend's family and his girlfriend, who's absolutely lovely, she's called Freddie, and I will link her Instagram down below because it's beautiful. Um, it's what Freddie wears and she's very into fashion and lessons makeup so she gave me a few bits um, just because she didn't use them anymore and one of the things she gave me is the Naked 3 palette which is something I've lusted over for so long and it has quickly become my favourite palette so I'm sure you know what it looks like but it is kind of like a range of whites and then pinks, bronzes, browns into like dark brown shades. I absolutely love this. My favourites have been um, probably Factory has been one of my favourites and Limit has been a good one too and it's just really good for an everyday kind of smoky look and thank you so much Freddie because I probably would never have purchased this on my own but I'm absolutely in love with it. On to foundation, my favourite foundation this year has been Rimmel Fresher Skin Breathable Natural Finish Foundation and this is in porcelain so it comes in this little tub like this. I first tried this in kind of like a sample size and thought hmm it's no different to a normal foundation but then I picked this up and I absolutely loved it. So it comes in a little pot, it looks like this. Um, it's lasting me really, really well for what it is. I just use like a concealer brush to kind of scoop some out into the back of my hand and then I mix it with a darker foundation, obviously because of my tan, because I'm kind of not matching here. But I've absolutely fallen in love with this and I find that it's really good coverage but it still feels really breathable. I feel like my skin is breathing well. I feel like I'm getting less acne and blemishes and spots. So I definitely say go and try this out if you want something that feels a little bit lighter, but it's still gonna give you that coverage. On bronzer, speaking of tan, this is gonna come as no surprise as well. This is the Topshop bronzer in Mohawk. I have hit pan badly on this, as you can see, but I absolutely love this. It's always been my kind of go-to contour color so to speak, because it's not, there's no kind of shimmer or shine to it, it's completely matte, and it's just the perfect, not dull, not ashy, but it's got, it doesn't scream, okay, I'm a bronzer, you just get that natural contour sort of shade on the side of your face, and I just love how this has been 
like looking and I love how it's been lasting me and it like again like the highlight it was about eight pounds so you can't really go wrong for blush I have picked this this is a 17 cheek and lip stain gel tint and this is in the color perky pink so kind of not really a blusher but it has been so it looks like this and obviously it comes out in a really red gel I was using it for ages for a lip tint and then the other day I kind of thought I'd be a bit brave put a little bit on my fingers, rubbed it in and then just worked into my face after working it in with my fingers I went back in with a Real Techniques foundation brush and the glow it gave me was so natural it looked like it really was coming from my skin instead of from a product and then I just powdered over the top of it because obviously it's wet you don't want to be rubbing it into a set powder but I found it gives you such a natural like rosy glow and it's something I'm going to be reaching for a lot more when we come into autumn and winter. On to mascara, this is a newbie but it literally has topped any mascara I've used this year by far. This is the L'Oreal Double Extension Mascara and as you can see it's got two ends. So this is step one and it's like a white based mascara and you pop that on first. Then I let that dry a little bit and then pop on step two which is just a black one and I found this is absolutely amazing. I wore this not long ago we were at a barbecue, we decided to jump into the pool, I jumped straight into the pool, went completely under, spent a little time in the pool, came out, you know, wiped down my face, um, went to bed in the middle of the night, hadn't really taken off my makeup, I was being a bit naughty, woke up the next morning, got in the shower and that's when my mascara came off and I had to like kind of pull it off and it was kind of like that elastic-y style. I kind of like that because it was sticking, so it survived pool, fire, sleeping and a shower and it's not too expensive either, so definitely go and try this out. For lipstick, my favourite has been another MAC product and this is the MAC Satin Faux and this has definitely been my favourite lipstick, I have it on now, it's just kind of a nudey colour, it's really simple to wear, I wore it entirely through London, absolutely loved it, Campbell loves it. And that's something that I like as well. I want people to like my lipstick and not think it looks too much, and he loves this. So this has definitely been something that I've been reaching for more and more when I just feel like I want to put on some lipstick, but I don't want to look too done up. Last thing I want to show you in this video is a MAC brush. This is my favourite brush for the year. It's the MAC 196, and it looks like this. It is a dense foundation brush and I have been reaching for it more and more recently. It really feels like it's pushing the foundation into the skin because it's quite dense. When you push it on, it's not kind of, it hasn't got the bristles to kind of flake everywhere and push foundation right down to the base because it's so small. The foundation is sitting on top and you're really working it into the skin. It doesn't become streaky, it's really easy to wash and it's definitely a foundation brush that I bought maybe a couple years ago, forgot about, rediscovered it this year and I've been absolutely in love with it. So that was kind of the handful of products that have been my holy grail products so far this year. I know it's kind of a weird stage of the year to do it, but I just, I really wanted to talk about these things because I've really been into that kind of end of year makeup video and I've been watching quite a lot of them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm currently on 50 subscribers so I'm so so happy with that at the moment. I never thought I'd get to 50 and I'm half the way to 100 so let's see how long it takes to get to 100. But please subscribe. If you have subscribed, push the bell button. You get a notification every time I upload because videos don't always go into subscription boxes. We know this. I upload a video every Thursday, so definitely come back and check next Thursday, see what I've been up to and see what I'm uploading. I will leave all the links to my social medias and my handles down below, and also information about the products, and maybe a little bit of information about general things, bedding, clothes, things like that, because I know a lot of people ask. I've got some really, really exciting video ideas coming up soon, so please stick around and you might see a couple collabs coming up soon, which I'm really, really excited about. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.